A reinforced concrete beam has an effective span L of 7 meters and carries a uniform distributed load. The uniform distributed load is made up of a permanent load GK of 8 kN per meter and an imposed load QK of 10 kN per meter. The cross section of the beam is rectangular. The width of the beam is uh, 275 millimeters. The total height of the beam is uh, 450 millimeters, and the effective depth of the reinforcement which is the distance of the centroid of the reinforcement from the compression phase of the concrete is 400 millimeters. The concrete is class C40 which means that the characteristic cylinder compressive strength FCK is equal to 40 newton of millimeter square. The characteristic yield strength of the reinforcing steel, FYK, is 500 newton of millimeter square. Our task is to determine how much reinforcement I need to provide. First thing I need to find is the factor design load including all of the permanent loads and imposed loads. The self-weight of the beam is not given, so I need to calculate it. In order to calculate the self-weight of the beam, I need to know the density of concrete which is 24 kN per cubic meter and the dimension of the beam. So the self-weight is equal to 0.275 times 0.45 this represents the dimension of the beam in meters times the density of concrete which is 24 km per cubic meter and this gives me a 2.97 kN per meter of self-weight. The factor of design load let's call it W is equal to 1.35 this multiplies the permanent loads so 8 plus 2.97 plus 1.5 and this multiplies in post loads so times 10 kN per meter the total factor design load is then equal to 29.8 kilonewton per meter. Now that I have the design load, I can find the design moment. We're dealing with a simple supported beam with a UDL. I know that the moment distribution is parabolic. The maximum moment will be a midspan. So I can write that the design moment is equal to W L squared divided by 8. So it's 29.8, that's my factor design load, times 7 to the power of 2, that's the span, divided by 8. 
and this gives me 192.6 kilometer meter okay now that I have the design moment I need to find out whether my beam requires some tension enforcement or both tension and compression enforcement to know that I need to calculate the maximum moment that the concrete beam could resist assuming there was only tension enforcement so my MU considering that I'm uh, dealing with a concrete that is uh, class C40 I can write it as 0.167 times FCK BD square which is 0.167 times 40 where 40 is my FCK times 275 that is my B times 400 to the power of 2 and that's the effect of that and this gives 293.9 times 10 to the 6 newton millimeter which is equal to 293.9 kilometer meter my enemy is greater than the design moment hence on the tension enforcement is required now I can determine the value of K0 which is given by the design moment divided by FCK BD square and that is 182.6 times 10 to the 6 over 40 times 275 times 400 to the power of 2 now I have all my units in Newton and millimeter and this gives me a value of 0.104 now that I know K0 I can calculate the lever arm Z where Z is equal to D times 0.5 plus the square root of 0.25 minus 3 K0 over 3.4 and this is equal to 359.2 millimeters. Now that I know the value of the lever arm, I can use an equation which is derived from the equilibrium of internal and external moment to find out the area of re um, reinforcement in the tension zone that is required the area of reinforcement AS1 is equal to the design moment divided by 0.87 FYK times Z so that is equal to 182.6 times 10 to the 6 over 0.87 times 500 times 359 Point two, and this is equal to about one one six eight millimeter square. This represents the minimum area of reinforcement that I need to provide. Now that I know the area, I need to specify what type of reinforcing bars I want to use and how many bars I need. In other words, I need to specify the bar diameter and the number of bars necessary. Reinforcing bars have uh, standardized dimensions, available diameters, so available bar diameters, uh, 6, 8, 10, 12, 16, 20, 25, 
32 and 40 millimeters. Now let's say I want to use 20 millimeter diameter bar. One 20 millimeter bar has an area of approximately 314 millimeter square. So I will need to use uh, so the number of bars that I need to use will be equal to the total area required 1168 divided 314 and that is 3.7 so rounding this up I need at least 4 bars to reinforce my cross section the required minimum area of reinforcement that I had calculated so minimum Uh, required is uh, one one six eight millimeter square with forty twenty. I'm providing so the area provided is one two five seven millimeter square. And that is 314 times 4. So the total area of uh, reinforcement that I'm providing with 4 T20s. The area provided always needs to be greater than the area, the minimum area required. Finally, a sketch of my reinforced cross section will look like this.